Hello guys, this is Richard Beast TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following members of our channel and the people that at the join the devotional natin. Shout out and God bless Diane Spakadalhin, Connie Blog, Heart Ponsalan, Des Villa, Molly Salamada, Alaska Ona, Connie Love, Sweetie Dean Quadra, Sky TV Blog, Jocelyn Custodio, Psyche Carion, Yance TV, Retro Blog, Jamaica Remorta, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Rosalito Blog, Anak Ni Inday, Rosel Badong, Von Anthony Balmoria, Heart Pilieta, Leo Bacoteco, Loris Channel, Isai Racho, and SSC TV of Korea. Hallelujah! Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So, guys, masaya ka ba na, na ano, nabuhay muli si Kristo? Ako masang masaya ako. Kasi, uh, sa ganung para, no, parang, hindi lang parang, we really have a hope in God. No? Kaya, tuwan-tuwa ako nabuhay si Kristo. So, that means, we also have a chance to be, a great chance to be alive again when we die together with God. God is alive, so we will also be living, no, uh, together with Jesus. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 18. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, so what I'm reading is about treasures in jars of clay. So the word of the Lord. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 18 says, We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive, are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in the mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. With that same spirit, spirit of faith, we also believe, and therefore speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you in the presence. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an, an eternal glory that far outweighs them. So we fix our eyes for not our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen and amen. <clears throat> I guess let's not pray. Yes, Father God, tao lang, and uh, kung ano yung nakikita namin, oh God, it is what we many times believe. Lord, teach us to believe on what is unseen than to those that is being offered this world na nakikita namin, oh God. Your spirit cannot be seen same way with what you're going to do with us, but we know you have the full control of our life, oh Lord God. Teach us, O God, to take heart in you. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our right, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in John 16.33. It says, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. No? Ngayon ang in-explain kanina, we are hard-pressed on every side, perplexed, no? 
ang yes that is really our life no? press side tayo sa mga problema but God is there with us kaya ito, ito ngayon we are still living because God is with us so guys the title of our devotion for this evening is take heart I like to watch birds at play so years ago I built a small sanctuary in the backyard to attract them for several months I enjoyed the sight of my feathered friends feeding and fleeting about until a copper hawk made my bird refuse his private hunting reserve. Such is life. Just about the time we settle down to take an ease, our ease, something or someone comes along to unsettle our nest. Why? We asked. Must, must so much of life be a veil of tears? I've heard many answers to the old question, but lately I am satisfied with just one. All the discipline of the world is to make us children that God may be revealed to us. This is the word of George MacDonald, a life essential. Nasinulat niya. When we become like children, we begin trusting, resting solely in the love of our Father in heaven, seeking to know Him and to be like Him. Cares and sorrow may follow us all the days of our lives, but we do not lose heart, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Can we not rejoice then with us such with such an end in views? We can. We can still rejoice. Ganyan ang buhay. Marami problema. Hindi lang isa, minsan, madami pa. No? Siguro, namiss lang tayo ni Lord. Kaya God is giving us problem in order for us to go back to Him. Kaya, guys, uh, ano man ina-offer ng world sa atin, marami talaga, no? Uh, let's not go away from God. From time to time, we have to go back to God or every day, every minute. Kaya nga, I'm so happy kung makikita ko kayo dito sa devotional because I'm also concerned about you because I'm also praying for you. No? Sabi ko, ano na naman kayang problema dyan? Bakit hindi siya nakapunta rito, nakajourn ng devotional? Kaya nag-worry ako. That's why, wala akong magawa except that I had to pray for you. Okay guys, let's now pray. Guys, nanotice yun ba na wala, wala masyadong mga questions ngayon? <laughs> iba, iba na naman kasi yung binabasa ko. Kasi yung, ang dinadala ko is, uh, ano, <clears throat> nadala ko pala sa Kagayan de Oro. Then, na kalimutan ko dalhin yung ano, ginagabi ko na material talaga. That's why, it's a different material, different edition na material na to. I guess let's now pray. Lord, We do rejoice even in our struggles because we are rejoicing in you, who you are, and your good purposes for us. You are powerful, loving, in control, and eternal. We trust you and love you. Amen and amen. Guys, my beautiful words are dito. Heaven's delight will far outweigh earth's difficulties. Amen. God bless us all guys because I know God sure bless us 10 times better. This is again with Service TV. Kita-kita tayo mula tangan sa muli. Paalam!